This one is done for your window, and it's the shape of a tree. The black part is the construction paper where they've traced the shape of a tree and then cut in sections. These sections are tissue paper, so they can make whatever shape they want and put it on the window and it shows through and it looks just great. This one is made with a paper plate and you've taken the saran wrap and wrapped the saran wrap around and then colored a design in it. That side and then there's this side too where you've colored a pattern. Actually it's a couple bells that's so kind of hard to see. And that's your regular foil underneath this one and then your saran wrap on top. And it gives it a bumpy look or you can just have the plane like that. We're talking about putting things on the window pane. Take a shape of a candy cane, trace it on wax paper. See how it's traced on wax paper? Then color red, clear, red, clear, and put that on the window. And that looks nice too. This one, instead of coloring it, we took tissue paper and put tissue paper squares on it give the candy cane effect and that one can go in the window and show through in the sun. Here's a Rudolph. Take a candy cane, put on eyes and a little sparkly red nose and pipe cleaners, wrap the pipe cleaners around the top and that gives you your candy cane Rudolph. Santa. I'm sure a lot of you have made star Santas. Star Santas like that. Just cut out your star shape and there are a lot of star shapes uh, around it in coloring books or on here and then put on your two googly eyes and your your belt uh, just a strip of black paper and a little square then a bit of bit of foam or a bit of um, not foam cotton cotton batten on the top here cotton hair, mustache, beard, cotton by the gloves and then green gloves or black gloves and then your feet, cotton and black boots and there you have your stars. This Santa is missing one eye. Sorry Santa. Okay. Now this Santa is one that we use from a paper bag that if you're bringing Christmas treats for each other then in kindergarten, grade one, grade two, then they can color the Santa and put him on a paper bag. And there he is. This Santa is made from a paper plate and the shape of his hat was cut out of foam. And this we just put glitter on and again this is foam. I think you can buy these pretty much pre-cut at some of the stores and they just assemble them and put them together. This Santa has two eyes as you can see. But it's just again a paper plate and you could probably make this from your own supply of materials if you want to, but you could also buy it. Pretty reasonable I think. Moving on to Santa from Santa to reindeer. The children can make a little hat. It's a straight strip of brown paper. Then see this is their hands. They just trace their hands and on each side there are their antlers. There's their reindeer hat, like that, that they can wear, and they love. If they want to put a big puffy red nose on there at the front, they can do that too. Here's another Rudolph. This one's done with paper plate, and you color the paper plate brown, put in the eyes and nose, and then there's your ears on it. It just looks like an upside down Christmas tree. The ears, or if you want to, you can take their hands and their handprint can be their ears. Here's another. These are bigger handprints. And this part has just been folded down. And that's their reindeer. Okay, this little one is... It looks like a gingerbread man. And you just take it and turn it upside down. And then add... Add upside down, remember? It was a gingerbread man, turn them upside down, put your holly and then your holly berries 
and then your ribbon and your red nose. Then that gives you a reindeer and if you want to put a clip, they can wear them and they can go around with, with their reindeer, their Rudolph and then their Rudolph hat. They can have them both. They can wear them both around in a parade for Christmas. One last Christmas tree. It's just white paper that's been folded and then colored green and then pom-poms put on to decorate it and a star on the top and it stands up. Christmas tree. That's it. Thanks for tuning in. I'm glad I could share my craft ideas with you for Christmas. Here's one more thing that you can make if you like. It's just round circles of felt and in between each circle is a bead and you can make a tree with that. And at the bottom there's a bead.